Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Math Article Toolbox. Today I wanted to talk about this book here, Numerical Methods for Stochastic Partial Differential Equations or SPDEs with white noise. Before we get into that, as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you think it could help somebody. Additionally, we have Amazon affiliate links in the description below. So let's get into it. So this book here is probably the most readable book on the subject of SPDEs that I've ever seen. The authors allege that the book is self-contained as the prerequisite knowledge of uh, probability theory and stochastic calculus is presented in the uh, first three chapters and the appendices. Let's start with the preface here. If you're interested in seeing this, the author state that the target audience is for graduate students or researchers that are interested in numerical methods for SPDEs. Let's get into the contents very quickly. So what I like about this book right off the bat is the uh, ordering of the chapters. The first three chapters here are organized in such a way that basically the other three parts of the book, so part one right here, part two, and then part three are all accessible and open to the reader after reading and understanding the contents of the first three chapters. And we've got these appendices here in the back. So let's start off with chapter one here, kind of starts off with a growth model and then gives you a little bit of an idea of what noise is and different types of noise and then some solutions and then models kind of just giving you a general idea of SPDEs the types of problems in which it can apply to and this is what I was telling you a little while ago how the first three chapters pretty much open the rest of the book up to the reader so this is pretty cool here chapter two brownie motion starts off by giving the reader a background and some probability that kind of builds off of what you saw in the uh, appendix here and let's let's show you this appendix if you're interested in reading this and learning from this appendix now i really don't recommend it as far as prerequisites go i would say that if you have your partial differential equations your calculus 3 linear algebra and some probability down you're good to go here you can try and read from this book here this is a very solid solid book i absolutely love this book you can try and learn your probability and stochastic calculus there and then come here, but it's not necessary. If anything, you can just read the second chapter of the Kalin book. It'll give you the probability. But I really don't recommend you try and read this book without any sort of probability whatsoever. I think you're going to have a hard time. But again, you're welcome to try if you want. So let's move on here. Brownian motion. Again, it just moves kind of quickly here. And I will say about the writing style of this book, I'm not a fan of the writing style. Sometimes it can read like an appendix i.e. they're just giving you, or maybe it's EG, I forget. Uh, they're just giving you theorems, definitions, theorems, definitions. You'll get an occasional proof here and there, but it really just moves way too quickly for my personal taste. And while this is probably the most readable book on the subject, I wouldn't say it's uh, readable in and of itself. I think it, it leaves a lot to be desired for me personally in terms of what I have a preference for in math books, especially for books on this channel. Uh, it doesn't really necessarily fit in, but I'd say it fits in in terms of other books on the subject. Uh, it fits in with the channel in terms of uh, when com being compared to other books on the subject that ask way, way, way more of the, the reader. So exercises, I really don't think this book should be without exercises. I really think that it's to the detriment of the book that it does not have solutions to the exercises is what I meant to say. I think I said something funny, but what I meant to say is that it needs solutions to the exercises. And unfortunately, we don't have any here, but... It is what it is. Let's move on here. Chapter three, numerical methods for SDEs. You can see here, column vectors, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, all that stuff is, is utilized here. And what I do like about this book is that there is a, I don't wanna say a focus, but there is an effort made to give the reader some concrete examples of maybe some elementary SDEs that do have closed form solutions. And they do a good job at ex explaining to the reader what uh, the method consists of or how to perform the method and then giving you some examples. So it's something that uh, maybe isn't so common in some more advanced books like these. And then here we've got an actual example of a SPDE with a closed form solution. And the book doesn't hold your hand whatsoever with the partial differential equations. You need to be proficient here in uh, this page here. We've or. Here for this example, we've got only about a page of math in terms of, you know, first seeing the problem and then getting the closed form solution. It only takes up about a page or so. So again, doesn't hold your hand whatsoever. You need to be very, very proficient in your partial differential equations. Uh, functional spaces, you're gonna probably want some 
analysis if you want to understand absolutely everything in this book, but you don't need it necessarily. But again, any, any information, any knowledge that you have will help, right? Existence and uniqueness, you know, for all of these, these more advanced topics like functional analysis and uh, Holder continuity, Lipschitz conditions, existence and uniqueness as a whole, right? You're going to want to have uh, some more technical or convergence as well. You're going to have want to have a more technical math background to understand this. And I haven't read the, the other parts of this book other than the first three introductory chapters in which uh, I've, I've either referenced, read, or skimmed through. Uh, I haven't read any of that here. My studies on the subject have been put on pause. So I'll just give you a, a taste of each of these uh, chapters here. In case you are interested in reading this book, I'll show you what each of them uh, entails. But again, I haven't read them, so I can't speak to their contents and how well or how poorly they read. But I'm sure it's decent either way, at a bare minimum anyways. And ho I hope you can read that okay, and if not, I apologize for that. But yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a shorter one, a little bit of a, on a time crunch needed to get this video out. I've been wanting to talk about this video for, or this book for a really, really long time, uh, but I stopped reading it and uh, just decided that, that I would do a video on it anyways, even if I haven't read it all the way as, you know, maybe somebody does need this book. Maybe they're taking a course and they absolutely do need it right now, right now. And uh, maybe they can't wait for me to, to finish reading it or, or to finish my, my time with it. That would do it for this one, guys. See ya.